doesn't matter how you get into the waist lock. We'll go lock up. I want you to come under, grab the waist. Exactly the same technique. So we're going to go from the ball and socket, get the gable grip. The shorter hand is the bottom hand. So the hand that is on the side that we're going to step around to stays on the bottom. So once we've got this, hook it on the hip, keep it tight, step around, up, here. Come down with them so they land flat. From here we're going to float over to the front headlock. Now the front headlock is not typically a submission position in pro wrestling, it's more just a control position. So once I get it to here, if I feel that, you're, if you feel that your opponent is going to start to kick sit to escape, what I want you to do is, firstly, grab all the way across. So the front headlocking arm, you're going to reach across and almost grab the tricep. This is going to keep you a little bit tighter to their body. Secondly, your right hand is going to post off the mat. So as they kick sit and go around, I'm almost doing like a cartwheel with my legs, following the movement of their body. So as you go around, boom. So you flow. You should end in the same position. Always reposition to get the center of the ring. We're going to go a second time. Go again. Pull around to here. Now, once you get it two times, they're obviously going to learn their lesson. They're not going to go again. So this time, Bruno is going to shoot into me instead of shooting away. So he's going to shoot this side. Keep turning. To here. All he has to do now is break the grip. Go back where he came from. And he's got the arm. However you want to finish from there. So, again, front headlock, counter, counter, third time lucky, go inwards, take control. If you want to see more videos like this, click on the subscribe button, spread the word, and if you have any questions or requests for World Beater Wrestling, don't be afraid to comment below.